Hey guys, what's up? This is Gerocraft and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a floating island similar to this one. It's a pretty simple method but you're going to need single player commands and wall painter. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. So the first thing you need to do is create a new Minecraft world. So click on create new world and just name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name this Skylands. We're going to be making an air preset. So change that to creative, click on more world options, turn off structures and then click on world type until it goes to super flat. Click on customize and then remove the top two layers. So that's the grass block and the dirt block leaving just bedrock. Then click on presets and change the number seven to zero and that will make a world with nothing but air blocks. Click on done and then create new world. Now make sure you press spacebar twice and fly so that you won't fall out the world. So once you've created your world with nothing but air blocks, just save and quit and we can open up World Painter. So just open up World Painter and we're going to create a new world. Just name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And dimensions, don't make it big, we don't really need a huge map. Um, we're going to start by clicking on flat and that is pretty much it create and what we're going to be doing is making some mountains so just zoom in we don't want to be making a huge island now I do have some custom brushes so if you do want to use custom brushes just send me an email requesting them and I'll send them to you and to actually install them just click on tools and click on open custom brushes folder and as you can see I have those images in there just close up world painter and start it up again and it should work so um, just grab any custom brush I mean you don't have to use them but um, we're going to be making just some small mountains using the height tool and this doesn't have to be very precise um, I'm gonna be using this peak tool to make some peaks underneath this is what's gonna basically make up the floating island speed this up a bit with the intensity And you also want to make sure you don't make it too tall because um, you know it will just take up way too much space on the map. So let's just take a look at the 3D view. And that is a pretty decent mountain. So um, once you've done that, just basically save it. Well, don't save it, export it into Minecraft. Export as a new Minecraft map and sky, that is fine. Don't include chest of goodies, change that to creative and um, export. So now you can go back into Minecraft and open up the world that we just created on World Painter. So as you can see we have the mountains. Now one thing you might want to do is paint the mountains stone instead of grass. I just completely forgot. Sorry about that guys. But it doesn't make much of a difference. Once you flip the mountain the grass will die. So it will just basically be a floating dirt island. So what we need to do now is copy the mountain, schematic save it and paste it into our air preset world. Now some people don't understand how this works so I'm going to try to explain it in a way that everyone can understand. We need to mark two points to be able to copy so if this was point one and this was point two and we copy it would just basically select everything within that area. So if point two was here it would just mark out another layer. So hopefully you understand what I mean. So if point one was here and point two was on the other side of the mountain in the sky it would just basically highlight the entire mountain and we would be able to copy it. So now using single player commands we're going to mark out the first point and to do this we're going to make sure you're on ground level and type in POS1. Then we're going to fly over to the other side of the mountain on the other corner and type in POS2. Then we're going to make our way somewhere in the center, it doesn't have to be precise and we're going to type in copy and then we're going to type in schematic, save and then a name. So I'm just going to name this schematic save 1 to make it simple. So now we're back on the air preset world and the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're about 150 blocks above bedrock level. If not when you paste the mountain the bedrock level will just cut the mountain in two. So once you've done that you're going to type in schematic load 1 then you're going to type in flip up and then paste minus a and what minus a means is that it won't paste the air blocks as well 
So hopefully it, it would prevent Minecraft from crashing and hopefully this won't take too long. So after about 20 seconds the mountain did show up, it just took some time to load. But hopefully you guys have been able to follow the tutorial easily, but if you had any problems along the way, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Now once you paste the island, you're going to find this huge flat surface area made of dirt, gravel, stone. Now this can be easily fixed by grabbing any tool and typing brush, sphere, grass, six, and then type in mask, dirt, gravel, stone, and whatever else you're going to find on the surface. So anyway guys, that's how I made my floating island for the Planet Minecraft spawn contest which you're looking at right now. So hopefully you put it to good use and found that it was a good idea. Of course once you finish the island you can add a river, some trees and just make it look a lot more interesting. So anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. This is Jerocraft, over and out.